Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. I am doing this easy cheat sheet look. I mentioned my cheat sheet looks a while back when I did a very subtle, quick look, and um, I kind of like in my mind I refer to these as like a cheat sheet look because it looks like finished, it looks polished, but it also is something that I don't have to think about as I'm doing it. If I'm running out of time or I'm getting ready in a quick way, just know that the makeup's gonna look good because I've done it a bunch of times before. This is one of them. I did it just the other day at MAC. I actually added end lashes. It's very, 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 very simple. It just needs a couple products on the eyes. So if you wanna see how I do this look, then keep watching. And my face is super dry. It feels really good, it feels super clean, but it is so dry. <laughs> the moisturizer I'm using today is the Embryo Lease. This is the regular version. I know you can get these guys at Target now. Uh, they're pretty pricey, but they are like super saturated in moisturizer. Like it's, you only, I only use like the tiniest bit and it spreads really well too. And I like cheat sheet looks because they're just easy, they're effortless and they're like, they use only a few products. This is the primer from Laura Geller. It's the spackle version. And that feels good. It also adds some moisture back to your skin. So if you ever feel like your skin's a little too dry even after you put on your moisturizer. Some of the primers that you have might be really good just to add a little bit more moisture. Um, for my foundation, I'm using the Kevin Aquan uh, Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is in SX08. It's a little bit light for me with a little bit of my L'Oreal uh, Pro Glow Shoot. I'm going to turn the heat off. Actually, I'm just going to leave it on because I'm freezing. That's okay. I'm going to actually put the 209 all on the perimeters of my face. I'm totally rushing, but this is kind of a real deal. Then I'm gonna dip my brush very, very lightly in there just to get some on my skin. Then I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. I did a review on this foundation. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, I'll link it at the very end of this video. If you guys want to see like the whole wear test and like, you know, all my input and ideas on how to make it look the best, definitely look look at the video because it's going to give you some more information than right now. Ugh, my sponge isn't wet. That's how unprepared I am for today. And then I'm going to put some of my Maybelline concealer. This is this guy. And number, this is the medium tone. I'm going to use a primer just because I know that my eyelids are really oily. No matter what I use on my lids, I need something to like... I'm going to wear this makeup out, which is why I'm using the primer today. Usually if I'm doing a video at home, I just kind of put on concealer and go. So really you can do either one of these kind of paint pot deals. I wouldn't recommend the Inglot one. The Inglot one's very, very thick. These two are a little bit creamy. This is the Black Track from MAC. And this is the Revlon... or nope, Rimmel. Uh, black gel liner. So both of these are creamy. Actually, today I'm going to use the Rimmel one. I didn't use the Rimmel one last time, so I used the MAC one last time. So really, I'm going to use a flat, kind of fluffy brush. Um, this kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but it's the truth. This is a MAC 2... 239? Um, Crown Brushes has a really good one. It's called the C510. It's exactly the same. So if you don't have it, get it. It's um, And it's super inexpensive. So anyways, I'm going to dip the top of it all right, now I'm just going to close my eyes like lightly and just brush it along the lash line. I'm going to focus it more in the outer crease. And then I'm going to taper it in very, very lightly on the inner portion. Like very lightly because I want it to kind of taper in. So you can always dip some more in. And then just kind of like smudge a little bit away from underneath. You could if you wanted to, if you had like a little extra time, which is probably what I end up always doing. I will find time to add a blending color. Just kind of do that on top or before, doesn't matter. And then add a little bit more and then try to focus it closer to the lash line. The point of it is to be smudged and like not defined, but you can always kind of take your finger and kind of crisp up the bottom. 
So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but this time I'm going to do my blendy color first. Honestly, the black track one from MAC is a little bit creamier, so it's much easier to use. Um, the Rimmel one is a little bit stiff, so if it's tricky for you, then maybe try a creamier version, or maybe add some kind of mixing medium in there. It's pretty much as deep as I want it to go. You could kind of drag it down lower in the bottom lash line. I'm going to do that just on the very outer edge because I love a good bottom smoke. I really, really do. I'm just going to do it in the outer edge though. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. I think I haven't used this in a while and I'm excited to play with it today. Alright, now, now that you look like you've been caught in a snowstorm, wait for that to dry just a little bit. The top mascara that I'm using is the Maybelline one. This is the Falsies one, my favorite. And I've gotten rid of a few mascaras lately and gone back to this one and I just love it. Oh wow, those are thick lashes. <laughs> I'm going to quickly fill in my brows with my NYX pencil. This one is in the color Ash Brown. I use it all the time. Let me bronze up this face ASAP because I am feeling gross. Sometimes like, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my god, why am I so close to sleep? Because it's just not who I am. I'm a tan girl. And then for my blush, the Sleek Blush, which I've had since forever, it's called Rose Gold. It's very similar to Orgasm. In fact, I returned Orgasm when I um, got it as a gift once because I had this one and I was like, you know what, I could just, I, didn't, I couldn't return this one, so um, I returned the other one and I just bought something different from Sephora. For my highlight, I'm using the Bobbi Brown uh, Shimmer Brick. This one's in the color Apricot. This, one. this is like a, actually a drier formula than most of the other ones. Most of my other um, highlights. Which is interesting. Because it's probably the most expensive out of all of them. For my lips, I'm using this um, Lilac L'Oreal Paris Pencil. This one's in the color Lackey Charm. It's a really good everyday lip color. Honestly, if I was doing a tutorial without going somewhere right after, I'd probably use something a little brighter. But I'm eating tacos right after this, so I need a lip that's going to wear away okay. Alright, and as a final touch, I'm just going to uh, spray my face with the Maybelline Fix um, spray. Facial spray, one, two, three. Oof. It's actually a really good spray. I like that one. I, w I usually repackage it into this guy. Uh, this is a L'Oreal one, but... Okay, I guess not. It's broken now. <laughs> Alright, and that's the finished makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more Chi Chi videos. I know that these were something that you guys were into when I first mentioned it. And um, a couple of you guys have mentioned it on my Instagram too. I have another one with a drop shadow that I could possibly do. But um, you guys tell me if you're into it and leave it in the comments below. And also hit the like button so I know that you guys are enjoying it. And if you guys want to see more videos of me throughout the weeks, every single day, especially this month, I'll have my vlog channel up in one of these little circles is the one of me going with the gray smoky eye. I'm going to link the channel below if you guys don't have access to the little button area thing, but that's where I post all of my vlogs. I am uh, doing Vlogmas every single day for the month of December until Christmas time. I have some fun stuff up there, so, uh, spending time with my sister, cooking, um, playing with makeup, and a bunch of other stuff. So if you guys want to see those, you can click on that and subscribe to my vlog channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!